Good morning. This is Russ and Kitty Walden with Father's Heart Ministry, and this is the Daily Prophetic Word. If you'd like to subscribe to the Daily Word in your inbox, go to propheticnow.com and click on the subscription link. We'll send you a free gift. It's a $60 value, a five-part series with PDFs, audios, and videos, Enochian Walks with God. Go where Enoch went, get what Enoch got, talk like Enoch talked. It's a powerful series. Thank you, Father, for this day. We thank you that, God, you're a God who speaks and you never leave us out of your purposes. The Father says today, come and bask in my presence. Luxuriate in the waters of my spirit. Just float down the river of life that I am diverting into every avenue of concern that you have. Experience my warmth this day and the aroma of my goodness. Refuse to allow today outside influences and circumstances to bring panic or distorted concern. For my love, I have everything under control. I'm not pacing the heavens, wringing my hands, wondering what am I going to do about those things in the earth that man is so disturbed by. Know this, says the Father, that though the shaking comes, my sovereignty is uninterrupted. Run into my name. Find your strength and your security in me. There isn't a wall high enough or an army strong enough to take the place of the shield of favor and fullness that I have placed round about you. Though all men forsake you, though the world hate and despise you, fear not. My goodness cannot be breached in your life. Though a thousand fall at your right hand and ten thousand at your left, that is no commentary on what happens next in your life. It isn't about random happenstance or hoping against the odds that you'll be overlooked by the enemy and thereby escape molestation. It doesn't matter. The enemy can put you in his crosshairs and I will still be your strength. I will be your stay, your shield. I say to you, fear not. Even as my word declares 365 times, fear not. So let a fear not mentality be that which guides your steps today for every day of your living throughout the year. You have nothing to be concerned about. Be careful for nothing, but rather give thanks. Attenuate your focus upon what I'm saying and doing and not on upheaval, destruction, or sudden terror that comes by day or pestilence by night. For you are, you are where your attention takes you. You are my beloved, and I have you safely in the palm of my hand. Now, I have a personal word for someone. Uh, I don't have a name, but what I heard the Father say is this. What you're facing today, you feel like as though it's almost like you've had a vision, or you feel as though you're just being bricked up by circumstances, as though you're just being bricked in with no windows and no doors and no way of escape out of the circumstance that you're in. And I hear the Father say this, I am the sledgehammer that's going to give you your breakthrough. I am the sledgehammer. The hammer of God is going to knock down the walls that are holding you back. Stand up and be bold. Put your shoes on your feet. Gird yourself with expectation and know that I'm about to blast you you out of the situation and the circumstance that you feel is just like being pushed into a crevice and bricked up and sealed in, but I am coming through for you, says the Father, to bring you breakthrough in every avenue of your life. Praise God. What a powerful, powerful word. If you'd like to receive a personal prophetic word, I want to invite you to go to Prophetic Now, click on the request link there and make your request known. We, we have a team of prophetic uh, men and women that will minister over you. We have a prophetic school that actually the enrollments, we have a, we're enrolling now for classes the 1st of May. Uh, if you want to hear the voice of God in your life, and every one of these uh, people that are ministering uh, over your life, and of course, if Kitty and I do the same thing as well with uh, these requests. We just do it as a team effort. Every one of them has been trained. Every one of them has been taught how to hear the voice of God with clarity, and it's their privilege to pray over you. If you'd like to have prophetic counseling, what is prophetic counseling? It's a breakthrough hour in your life that you can go to the website and schedule 
a phone time at your convenience. We open up our schedule. There's a calendar there that you can choose what day and hour you would like to have that breakthrough time to sit down and talk with me. We do it over the phone and bring your life to breakthrough. Prophetic counseling. If you've had a dream in the night that you don't understand but you think God's talking, uh, you can request prophetic dream interpretation. See, Kitty and I have been raised up. We have been called. Our mandate is to raise up a relevant prophetic generation. So we bring prophetic ministry to the table and we train others in prophetic ministry as well and to and release them. We've had uh, just over 2,000 people that have taken our prophetic school. Many of those have come and moved into prophetic office and many of those are now full-time in prophetic gifting. And so we just encourage you today. It's a good day. The sky isn't falling. The kingdom is coming. It doesn't matter what anybody says. All that matters is what God is saying. And remember, we're teaching in Morning Light live at 9 a.m. Central every uh, morning. And so that's uh, in about 15 minutes we go live, continuing to teach on the book of Job. Now, the book of Job will, it's like the cod liver oil for the believer, but it will immunize you against the false doctrine of suffering. To somehow believe that God puts suffering on you to teach you something, to give you a message, to love you, to punish you. God doesn't do that. And the book of Job is no fun uh, to read, but yet as we read it, we begin to clearly understand that it is not God that is the author of such things. And it becomes an immunization influence, an immunizing influence in your life to protect you, to insulate you from the causality and struggle that so many of us unnecessarily face. I encourage you to come in. Job chapter 18 today. God bless you. Have a great day.